Hey, what's up guys? John here. A U.S. cargo ship was just hit with a missile off the coast of Yemen. The U.S. has launched a new strike against the Houthis in Yemen. Houthi militants vowed to launch retaliation strikes, adding they will continue their attacks on ships in the Red Sea. The U.S.-owned cargo ship has been hit in the Gulf of Aden by a ballistic missile fired by the Houthis in Yemen. And show you what's about to happen to the U.S. economy. I think there's going to have a massive impact on inflation, on inflation reporting, on interest rates with Jerome Powell and there's a lot of discussion of a Fed pivot happening. Fed as officials signal they are done raising rates, instead raising the number of rate cuts they see next year. Multiple Fed pivots this year, it doesn't look like that's about to happen anymore. And on top of that, property insurance, car insurance, everything could be going up. This is one of the biggest stories in the world right now, especially for America. 12 to 15 percent of every item, every product, everything that we purchase travels through the Red Sea. And when you look at how much rates have went up, you look at what's actually happening, all the tension that's being built up right now, I think it's by far the biggest threat that we have to the U.S. economy. And this could really push everything overboard. Please hit the like button and hit the like button. YouTube will share the content, educate more people about what's happening in America and the world. And if you'd like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free strategy session for tomorrow, for Tuesday. Take a look at this. So this situation, we've already been uh, provoking a problem over there. And uh, in this situation, the response to this, I believe America is not going to just let this go. I think we're probably going to, uh, unfortunately, walk us all into a big problem. 12 to 15 percent of global trade passes through the Red Sea. 12 to 15 percent. I mean, this isn't a small situation. 70 percent is how much shipping rates went up last week, January 8th. Right? We're at the 15th right now, seven days ago, it was up 70%. Now it's up 300% as of 32 minutes ago. So you have to ask yourself, if 12 to 15% of global trade is going through there, shipping rates went increased from 70% to 300% in seven days, what is this going to mean? If you are a business owner, maybe you're located in India, in China, Taiwan, maybe you're, you know, shipping car parts, whatever you're shipping, if your costs go up, you know, from 70%, 300%, what are you going to do? You're going to bake this in to the newfound cost of what you're selling, meaning consumer prices are going to likely continue to go up, which is a very, very, very big problem considering the fact that Janet Yellen said a soft landing was incoming, Jerome Powell, soft landing, you know, they want to get inflation at 2% or 3%. How are you going to get inflation to those numbers? when you have shipping rates that are going to skyrocket. But the bigger story here is what this is going to mean for the cost of oil, natural gas, grain, and everything from toys and electronics typically travel through the waterway separating Africa and Arabian Peninsula and route Suez Canal, right? This is Red Sea. So when you have oil prices going up, what does this mean? Domestic shipping prices will likely go up. Property insurance will definitely be going up. And the reason for that is if you have a home fire, if there are, you know, let's say a mudslide or any problem with your property and you have an insurance policy, that insurance company needs to get all the supplies. They need to get the lumber. They need to get, you know, the HVAC systems. They need to get everything, all of which is most likely not made here in America. You know, not like it's 1950 anymore. Most of this is coming from overseas. So if their costs are going to go up, what does this mean? means they're going to bake this into the newfound premiums. Insurance prices will continue to likely rise. Car insurance prices will likely continue to rise. Car insurance rates right now have jumped at 40, the highest in 47 years, according to CNN. Um, but this situation, I mean, already oil prices hit $80 a barrel as fear grows over the Red Sea disruption. I believe all this does is build this entire situation to equate to this massive wealth trend it's likely going to uh, experience. So what they've said, is, uh, I mean, it's really kind of unbelievable. So EU worried about Red Sea attacks could spark inflation. The European Union economy commissioner on Monday warned that violence in the Red Sea sparked by Houthi attacks on shipping could push up energy prices and inflation. We know that we're starting this year with subdued growth, some good news on labor market, but increasing concerns on the downside risk caused by the geopolitical tensions. Now, what is happening in the Red Sea is not for the moment, apparently, creating consequences on energy prices and inflation. But 
we think it should be monitored very closely because these consequences could materialize in the coming weeks. When did this come out? It came out today. It came out today, right? So when they tell us that we're going to see a Fed pivot, I don't see it happening. Instead, what I see happening are the deadlines. We have $2 trillion in corporate debt that has to get refinanced. And if the Fed does not pivot, it's going to be hard for a lot of companies to refinance this debt at today's interest rates. You have over $1.6 trillion in commercial, both office and multifamily loans that need to get refinanced this year, many of which owe more than what, they, what the property is actually worth. Many of these people, many of these investors and landlords and operators will have a harder time refinancing their buildings if the Fed does not pivot. I mean, you have this entire situation right now all coming to a head. And if this Red Sea situation is going to push the inflation data, saying that inflation is getting worse, they might even increase interest rates. It might sound far-fetched, but they've claimed that we are going to see a Fed pivot January of last year, of 2023. And now people are hoping that we see a Fed pivot in March, in April, in June. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Instead, I see the situation uh, continuing to uh, ramp up over the coming couple weeks. U.S. owned container vessel struck by an anti-ship ballistic missile off the coast of Yemen. A U.S. owned and operated container ship on Monday was struck by an anti-ship ballistic missile from Houthi controlled areas of Yemen, according to the U.S. Central Command. So you have to ask yourself, what is the best situation to be in, given all, given all these uh, you know, chain of events that are unfolding? Well, the best situation is going to be working ideally from home or having, you know, having a flexible job, or maybe you have a business where you're bringing in a lot of money, you have reduced consumer expenses, you get out of high interest rate consumer credit card debt, you put yourself in the best position possible. Because no one knows how this situation is going to pan out, but the more flexibility you have, the more options you have, the better. I mean, I personally think that 2024 and 2025 will be far crazier than anything we experienced in 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, all combined. It just seems like everything's coming to a head here. I mean, what, what they were saying, and look at this, like feeling the, the pinch of high home insurance rates, it's not getting better anytime soon. No, it's gonna be getting worse. Inflation rate ticks up in December despite high interest rates. Inflation expected to have risen sharply in December, slightly in December. Inflation jumped in December complicating Fed's aim for interest rate pivot, right? When you look at all these situations and you see that what we're walking into, I mean, I believe it's, it's the writing's on the wall. The writing's on the wall. The inflation data is probably going to get worse and they're going to push this economy off a cliff. Remember Jerome Powell said a long time ago that, you know, they'll, they'll pivot when something breaks. Well, I think that this could be the situation that, uh, you know, breaks everything. What do you think about this? Do you think we're walking into a scenario where, they are going to push the U.S. economy, maybe even the global economy, uh, into a really, really challenging position. So they say right here, while disruption distribution to shipments was not as severe as during this, he warned it would push prices up and hit economic growth. Several shipping firms have stopped vessels using the Red Sea route after attacks in, from Houthi rebels in Yemen. Last week, the U.S. and U.K. launched military strikes against Houthis. Now, what they said here is that uh, relative to what would have happened otherwise, we will see higher inflation, higher mortgage rates, and lower growth. So how, does, how do American consumers, how do they stand in this environment? Higher mortgage rates means higher credit card interest rates. I mean, you see everything increasing with record high inflation, high credit card interest rates, high mortgage rates. I personally think we're walking into a massive wealth transfer and a massive opportunity. That's what I personally think for smart and you know, aspiring entrepreneurs, savvy entrepreneurs, looking at the writing on the wall. If you are looking out there and you're seeing everything that's happening, just know that the real money is made when the masses are afraid. And 90% of people right now think, oh, you know, everything will be okay. But 10% are looking at this saying, you know what? I personally think that challenging times are going to be in front of us. And inside of challenging times, you look at nearly every billionaire, every wealthy person, they built most of their wealth during the hard times. And I think the hard times are coming and a massive opportunity is coming. So uh, position yourself as best as you possibly can. Get out of high interest rate consumer debt, stack cash, get into a great business or have a great job. Just put yourself in a really, really strong position um, because most people won't. And then you'll be able to go out there and put yourself in a really, really good spot and build a moat of safety around yourself and your family. 
uh, to weather the storm. Drop below, let's have a conversation about this. And uh, if you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself for funding, if you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. We'd love to give you a free strategy session for tomorrow. You can click the link in the description just below this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.